You see, it was nothing new. His Majesty himself is the first to take at them and even put them in the center of the earth and crown them and give them garments, you see. This is nothing new. Put the, the orb in his head and put the scepter there at them, you know, to rule the earth. But because of Lucifer, they lost that, you see. This is what we learned from the Kepra Negas, that the man must be redeemed from his fallen state. And he was told that after five and a half days, the Redeemer shall come, you know, and redeem you for your fallen state. And also redeem the earth which has been given to Lucifer and given back to the, to, to, to the children of, of the man, of, of son of man, you know, the saints themselves, as is written in the book of Daniel, you know. So I know we are just there in confirmation of that, that his majesty is that return Christ, you know. The first coming was of the coming of the high priest, because the high priest of Israel wears a, wears a golden crown and a mitre, you know, written high priest. So he comes as a high priest, you know, he's given also the symbols, which is the mirror, the frankincense, and the gold, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so his majesty in his coronation, we see him being anointed with mirror and frankincense. We see him sitting on his golden throne. So he fulfills all those things, his majesty, you know. So also when we study scripture, we know that Christ in his first coming had to fulfill the four of the seven rituals of Israel. The second coming of Christ must then fulfill the three that are left. This is how we know that I just last said is the second coming of Christ. You see? Yes. Now, also, <coughs> what we know is that the book of Genesis is similar to the book of Revelation. So when you speak of a new earth and a new heaven, when you study in Genesis, in seven days the Almighty created the heavens and earth. You see? When you go to the book of Revelation, you find the seven See, Adam was born on the sixth day, as we read in Genesis. When we study the seventh seal, in the sixth seal, there's a falling of stars, there's an earthquake, yeah? there's a darkening of the sun. It happens on the sixth seal, signaling the coming of the Son of Man. And in 1892, His Majesty is born. Now, the falling of, of, of the stars happens 1799, 1833, in 1866, three times. The earthquake happens 1755. It's called the Great Earthquake of Lisbon. Then we must have now the one that happens lastly, you know, to, co to confirm that he is, you know, uh, what, he, what the, the Rasta man say he is. The stars that were falling were falling from a constellation called Leo. So they were called Leonids. It was the first time in 1883 that we had a falling of stars, thousand stars in an hour. And they were moving at a 72 kilometers per hour. You know why 72? <coughs> so those are things that I now get, you know. As we go through also, since His Majesty was born on the sixth seal, and the earthquake happened the 1st of November, the stars fell on the 12th to the 3rd of November, so, when you go to the seventh seal, when is it going to happen? <coughs> it must be the second of November, also, you see. Because this is when His Majesty is replying to His saints. If you go to the church, the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, you will know that in November they are celebrating what they call this All Saints Day. This is the day where they remember all those who have passed through, you know. And this is the time when His Majesty will be coronated also, you know. So we are just marking all those things. In scene number seven, we are told of the silence. <coughs> that there will be silence in heaven for 30 minutes. Numbers, we are told that the Most High has given us a day for a year. So when we speak of 1,260 days, we are speaking of 1,260 years. You know? So the beast rise 538, and it's in 1798, who's this? Bonaparte, Napoleon, removed the Pope from the throne. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? That is 1,260 years. You know? That is when we start to see, now, these things start to happen. 1755, 1833, and all that. In 1892, His Majesty is born. You know? Fulfilling also the 400 years. Because Spain and Portugal were given the right to oppress and enslave uh, all nations in 1492. His Majesty is born in 1892, 400 years. So these are the confirmations that we get that Heidelberg is the return Christ, sitting upon 
the throne of David, carrying the bloodline of David, you know, being crowned king of kings, lord of lords, conquering line of the tribe of Judah. Nothing is new under the sun. Aina is just confirming all that is written in this book. Give thanks, my angel. For the final time. Even that little time that I and I get, you know, it's just to strengthen those who keep the Sabbath, you know. That I and I, this book is real. This book says His Majesty has created earth and the heavens and He stretched them like a curtain. Let me tell you something, fine. It is only today that science had to create the biggest microscope and study 